If you think about all the different aviation facilities that are in the area just here, between Langley and the airport and Naval Base, it's just plenty of opportunities for someone to get a good skill. Nowadays, it is more like you have to have a trade. It's not a college degree anymore. Sometimes the four-year education isn't for everybody, so bringing something like this is positive to the community. I get the opportunity every day to engage the community and expose them to the wonderful career options that Aviation Institute of Maintenance offers. So I picked up Fly Norfolk from Dr. Joel English, and we've been able to grow that into Fly Portsmouth. The ripple effect that the grant has been able to provide for us has just been enormous. Without the grant resources, we would not have been able to travel to areas where underrepresented and underserved communities would never have an opportunity to see an airplane, get into the cockpit, learn how an airplane works. We've really gone coast to coast with this grant, exposing young people to a career in aviation maintenance. We appreciate the support and look forward to another year of partnerships as we strengthen the aviation maintenance workforce together. My name is Delegate Jackie Glass. I represent the 89th District of House of Delegates, which is a piece of Norfolk. I'm Kenneth Cooper Alexander, Mayor of the City of Norfolk. My name is Jackie Johnson. I am the Assistant Director with Parks and Recreation for the City of Portsmouth. My name is Mohamed Garcia. I'm the Site Manager at Next Step to Success. My name is Rianne Patricio. I'm the Head of School of Green Run Collegiate. I work for the City of Norfolk Parks and Recreation. My name is Derek Perry. I'm a Facility Manager. Our primary goal is to provide recreation opportunities for all kids, all walks of life. Our mission is to support our youth to live happy, fulfilled, self-efficient lives. A big part of our vision is intentional, innovative practices, and I believe that a big part of that is having community partnerships such as AIM. I've been just a fan of what AIM has been doing in the community. AIM is helping change people's lives for the better. My name is Nadia Bello, my daughter Liliana Bello. We started a camp here about three years ago. She was shy, if you know Liliana, she does not like to talk to people or anything, but she tried it out and she loved it. She came home the first day. She was telling me about all the picture frames that they did, all of the welding and all of the frames that they did. And she looked forward to coming the next day and after that, which if you get Liliana to come more than once, then you know that she had a blast. It, it was fun. And could you please tell me your name, sir? Thomas Dash. And you are the grandfather of of Braxton Dash is my grandson. I think he got a lot of insight from instructors here. He enjoyed his time here. He bought him a soldering kit. He got into soldering and disassembling and reassembling. It meant a lot because it's given us the opportunity to see him develop. Were you happy that you attended the yeah, program? Yeah, it's definitely fun. It helped me find new ways in creating things, like things that had a problem and that needed fixing. We made a box and we made a, uh, a picture frame for all the pictures that we took over the summer. Uh, my name is Rene Toledo. My son is Manuel Toledo and Jonathan Toledo. My kids love the program, especially doing the ribbits. They'll come home, they will tell me about it. I mean, every day they, we gotta go, we gotta go. But it's funny because my wife has been pushing them to come here once they're done with high school. So for them to get in a tray and be able to use it outside, that'd be wonderful. I will sacrifice myself for them just to come here and it's close to home. <laughs> I felt like a family, so it was pretty good. It's fun. It's very fun. So I want to do this in my future. I'm so thankful and I'm grateful for everybody that has done so much for my daughter here. We have her, her, um, yeah. <laughs> her stuff, yeah. So she made some for us and her picture friends and, and uh, we're always finding like, well, I, now I want one this year and I want one this year. So thank you for that. Thank you for all you guys have done. AIM has helped me and helped the city deconstruct poverty, strengthen our neighborhoods, and also build our economy. You guys are awesome, man. <laughs> Being so open and giving kids the opportunity to explore things that they never really thought that they were interested in. They know that when they're coming here, it's much more than just sitting down in a classroom. And they enjoy being in this environment, realizing that opportunities are much more than what they're being told. 
AIM is the perfect fit for that because it allows our students to be exposed to different careers. I don't think that they have really been exposed to machinery like this. I hope it never ends. <laughs> I hope that it never ends. This is our second year. We look forward to many, many years to come. We thank Aviation Institute Maintenance. My name is Megan DeHart and I am the project director with the Aviation Institute of Maintenance. To be a part of this grant project has been rewarding. We have been able to positively impact all walks of life, all ages, from all communities, from here in Norfolk to across the United States. And it's truly been an incredible thing to be a part of. The grant is allowing AIM to make those contacts, those connections, and is keeping the airways safe. Knowing that AIM has reached out to over a thousand people in partnership with the FAA makes me feel like our community has a team. What the FAA needs to know is it is key and crucial to keep this alive and the AIM way is keeping it alive. I just want to give a heartfelt thank you to Miss Miranda Haywood, Alicia, Jazz, and also Dana. Without their guidance and professionalism, we would not have been able to engage and provide career exposure to almost 3,000 students the past six months. And we're so, so thankful for those resources and looking forward to growing the partnership with the FAA in the years to come. Hi there, my name is Ashley Odin. I'm the Campus Executive Director at the Aviation Institute of Maintenance in Norfolk, Virginia. I just wanted to extend a sincere thank you for providing us with the resources to impact kids all across the country. It has been an absolute joy and thrill to watch these children from all walks of life enjoy and engage and enrich their own lives by us sharing with them the love we have for aviation. I know what we're doing is going to impact generations to come, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without you. As a mom, as a school director, and as a woman in aviation, thank you from the bottom of my heart.